Hey everybody and welcome back to my opera channel. This week I'm joined with Phoebe. Phoebe Smith. <laughs> Phoebe is also a student at the Royal Academy and today we're actually finding out what her top five favorite operas are because I think you've heard enough from me. Phoebe, first of all, tell us about yourself. What are you? I am a soprano. I like how every opera singer is always going to answer like, I'm a this. I am a soprano. I'm not I'm a person. I'm just a soprano. My whole life is I'm just music. A lot of so, so deep. So <laughs> profound. You know, you're giving me a complex now. <laughs> I'm a soprano. No, I'm human as well. Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> yep. I live up north. Up north, you know, West Yorkshire. On See. field. Mm -hmm. It's really nice up there. London's very different. But it's lovely. I'm a new friend. <laughs> Let's start from five down. Okay. Oh, but in order. Do you know your top one? I know my top one. Definitely. Okay, we'll start with Marriage of Figaro. Marriage of Figaro. That's definitely by Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> this was like the first opera I saw with my mum. We went to the cinema in Hedger Bridge. It was a really cute little cinema where they gave you mugs of tea and blankets Aww. and you go sit and like watch the opera and oh I just remember it being really magical and then they Is that what got you into opera? No, it but it was one of the like first ones I saw. And I just remember the overture, it just gets you so excited, don't doesn't it? And um, my second year at, at Academy when we did conducting, I was the first one to conduct and we did the overture and it was a bit surreal because you just stood in front of like this orchestra hearing the overture to the Marriage Figure like, okay, <laughs> I'm doing here, here we go. <laughs> just like, oh, oh I, lo I love the Marriage Figure. Favourite character is definitely Kirby, you know? Really? But you're Susanna? I'm Countess, I think, you know? Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm a countess. <laughs> I am a countess. <laughs> Number four. Number four. Um, Lucia de Lamamor. By? By Donizetti. <laughs> Donizetti. Yeah. I'm, I, I, when I say the opera names, I always say it in a Yorkshire accent. Because, you know, don't lose who you are. <laughs> Why? Because of the mad scene. The mad scene. I've spoken about the mad scene. It's yeah. the craziest thing. It's the best thing. I Who's your favourite Lucia? No, I can't say a name. And I'm gonna say Natalie Des Desai, 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 Desai. The floatiness and then the just dramatic. Have you seen that video on, you on YouTube of her doing it? I yeah, I'll, li I'll link it down below. It's so good. Like, pretend to act that I'm a bedroom when I was little. <laughs> I'm like, just like, die on my bed. Like, oh, I cannot wait to die on stage. Like, la that's when I know I'm gonna like, I've made it, is when I die. You know, so you're a soprano, you're gonna die all the time. I can't wait. <laughs> I just. Oh, oh, goals. <laughs> Number three. The Tosca. That is the best death. That was me acting. Because I wanna die again. She, she also, dies. Not only that, she dies, but she's like one of the only characters that doesn't, you know, die of like tuberculosis or something yeah, like that. She, oh, she, she just like. Dead. She just jumps off the roof. Like, we could do now? I saw it at e &O last season. You saw it in English at E&O? Yeah. How was that? It was good. I mean, I feel it like sometimes when you see things in English, it takes away the magic a little bit. Yeah. You're like, but oh, he is raping her now. Oh. oh. There's no love there. But it was so good. She fell off the back of the stage and it was just like, it was a slow pop. And there's this window at the back and she's just like, she puts her arms out and just falls off the back. I'm like, I want to do that. Have so you ever been to, to Rome to this Castel Sant'Angelo? No, no. I went to the top and I took a picture and I was just like, I'm Tosca. <laughs> Tosca. This is where I die. <laughs> All right, number two. La Boheme. We're in the right location for La Boheme. She dies too. She dies too. On a rooftop. Yeah. But of tuberculosis. Yeah. A little less fun. This is the first opera I saw live. Really? Yeah, when I was little, and I, I got confused as well. I did you it. become an opera fan because of like the connection to Rent, or did you like? No, know I didn't know about Rent, and, and and to be honest, I, I didn't know anything about it going into it. I think it was like one of my dad's friends, like company. We went to go see it, and I got really confused why it didn't end after two acts. I'm like. I'm like, oh, that was nice, okay, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> and then you come back five minutes like, later, why what? are we still here? What? Why is everyone sitting back down? But because I was little, I did remember, like, please die already. <laughs> when I was little, I was like, oh, God, 
I'm getting sore now, I need to stand up. <laughs> but obviously it's just so amazing. I like the music. So good. Number one. Now I don't know if you'll have heard of this one. Good. The Magic Flute. <laughs> Are you a Pamina? Yes. I want to sing it so badly. I've done like the arias and the duets and I'm just, I'm ready now. <laughs> come, come on, I'm ready. let's do it. <laughs> you know? No, I love it. I, I feel like it's the first one like I completely fell in love with. I used to watch it like on repeat on YouTube. Who's your favorite Pamina? Because everyone always talks about their favorite uh, queen. Because yeah. and no one ever talks about any of the other characters. It's always like, oh, Queen yeah, of the Night. That's it. High. And she's only in there for two arias. Yeah. And she's not on stage any other time. Which is misleading because I feel like everyone who hasn't seen it thinks, oh yeah, she's like like the main thing of the opera. She's not. She's not. She's really not the shit. I mean, she's. she's pretty, she is the shit. It's pretty cool. <laughs> My favorite. Oh god, I can't say anyone's name. Dorothea Roshman. Rosh. Roshman. I'll leave a link down below to a, a to her favorite. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna leave a link to the duet because I think the other guy who sings Pugano, he's also so good. Bye, my virgin. <laughs> That's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you enjoyed all of Phoebe's <laughs> top five favorites. Comment down below which ones are your top five favorites because it's been a really long time that I made a favorite opera video, and now another opera singer. I will see you all next week in another video. I'm here every Monday with a new video, pretty much. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe and hit that little bell on the side there, you know, that one, so that you can be notified when I make a new video. And yeah, so I'll see you all next week, and until then, have a great, great week. Drink some tea and go see an opera. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs>